matcha cookies. I think I give them matcha tea. Last, oh. Hi, hey guys. guys. What's up? Welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave them comments down below. Like below. Scratch that. Welcome to the channel. It's Rojo. 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 Ro 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 <laughs> In a little bit, y'all already right. know it. We are back with another <laughs> this, uh, banger <laughs> video, guys. I just be trying to get through the intro because every time we stop, I forget where we at, and then I be looking in the video like this. No, why know. would you say rojo? Because <laughs> that's red. Fire, <laughs> flames, explosion. You know, I strictly do it for the people who sitting here Man, with hurt my chin. watching me with no pants on because I ain't got no pants on either. So if he got a problem with that, if she got a problem with that, if your bald head ass grandma got a problem with that, knowing she wore nightgowns and never pants, but okay. Y'all gonna have to take that out with the people. Why would she wear a pants with nightgowns? It's a gown. No, but that's what I'm saying though. You said I got no pants. Listen, you walk around that. like a baby with a pimp. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Yo, the cheeks. Hey, man. Hey, man. That girl got, ooh. <sighs> that girl got them little cheeks out. Ooh. Man, y'all, we strictly do it for the people. Y'all already know. Y'all already know who we strictly do it for. We strictly do it for the people. Who? The people. And without further ado, guys, let's just get so right So glad you ain't talking about nobody, grandma. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I already said it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did say it with your bald head ass girl who wore a gown. I'm trying to act like she ain't got no pants on. But, okay. Go ahead, boom. I will forever talk about y'all going on, okay? Y'all can talk about mine, shit. We all gonna talk about each other one way or another. So, why do you kick it off? You want me to bring the kids in? Yeah, I can't talk do about the kids. kids. I can't, and I need them. Them working. So, what's the man about? Um, I uh, <laughs> said the kids to work. Why you think they let the older people out of jail? They, they don't, don't got, let old people out of jail. They ain't got time to be taking care of them people with all the medical problems and all that. No, they, no they, don't, they don't let old people out of jail, listen. It costs to take care of them. So if you got a heart, well, it costs. I'm I you. thought when you have like, I don't know, we all said that, my bad. Whatever. Everybody, grandma and granddaddy just jump anyways. Come on. <laughs> okay, anyways. Y'all, today we're going to talk about <clears throat> the stuff that, you know, it's really like men versus women. Um, we're gonna speak from both perspectives. Like the things that women make it seem like it's okay that they can do, but men can't do, and the stuff that men make it seem like it's okay to do, women can't do. And what started this conversation was, man, this was having a conversation while she was on the toilet, and I like to sit in the bathroom with her, and we started talking about it. So we're gonna get right into it. Come on, Lisa. You Talk. gonna start it off. You the one came up with the video. You gonna kick it off with your how you feeling about things. Talk okay. about, come on. What were we talking about the bathroom though? We were talking about De'Ara and Ken. That's what we were talking about. Okay, so basically what we were saying was, if y'all are familiar with this, when Ken did the whole video, well, well, when the video went around and Ken was telling the girl that she was cute and to let him see the dress thing or whatever, you know, we all should be familiar with that situation. Um, I was basically saying that I don't think that it's fair that men can't do that. Like, women, we do it all the time. So, it's like, how come men can't be themselves in a relationship? Like, all uh, because he's with you. Um, I'm not saying that this is how she's feeling. I'm saying as in the people on social media, like, and how they took it. Like, mm -hmm. all because that person. So, it's social media. Yes, yeah, uh, you know, it's always social media because, you know, De'Ara never actually, she never said nothing about it. So, this is just me speaking from the people of social media. But, yeah, it was like a, all of us go places and we see men and we be like, as a woman, we be like, dang, he fine, he cute. 
Or if we know our homegirl got like a cute brother or something. And we on FaceTime with her and the brother probably walked by. We'll be like, tell him. I said, like, and, and you probably have a whole dude. It's like, you know, you just being yourself. So it's like, how come men, basically, they can't do the same thing? Like, why can't they compliment another woman when they see another woman? All because they're in a relationship. Like, because I'm with you, i only supposed to tell you, you pretty. And when it's other gorgeous women, too, as well. Like, they can't do what you do, but I can still tell them that they, you know, that they pretty. And I just don't yeah. think that it's fair. That, you know, men can't express themselves. And for and I'm not speaking for men who express themselves and, and flirt with women. As right. a, as not the disrespect for my yeah. The ones that actually take advantage in, you know, I mean, the ones that are actually just <laughs> giving. Said take advantage. The ones that are actually just giving a compliment. I ain't trying to say take advantage. I really was using it for the ones who actually like be disrespectful and go a little bit overboard. But as far as just telling somebody cute, opening the door for somebody or... Even buying a female a drink, like you clear obviously you gonna buy her a drink because you see her thirsty has been probably in the same spot for how long, you know what I'm saying? That's just the gentleman within you. But I be I don't honestly I don't be understanding. You feel me? I just be like, what's the? I don't get it. Like that's where the insecurities come in. That I guess when guys be like, dang, you so insecure and bother as far as they like. I don't know. I don't even really know the whole full story background on, you know, how Ken was doing things with that. Because I really don't watch those videos. I get a glimpse of it on social media. And then I just go from it with that. I don't go to the comments to see what a person has done said or what they done, they theory done came up with. I just go off of really what I seen in the video. So it's like certain things I feel like just get... You know, just dragged out of proportion. And I also, times, so. and then also social media too drags stuff out of proportion too. It's like nobody can really be themselves. Like if you say something you hating or if you give an opinion you hate. Like it's like social media. I feel like social media makes things a little bit more complicated and worse in the relation in, in the situation because you got all these different opinions from people you don't even know who probably under the age of 14 years old and just out using their mama wi-fi to say ignorant stuff so it's really like a i'm not i'm not basically speaking from diara and ken's situation i'm speaking from me in in, in that situation point blank period in those type of relationships because i've seen them with my own two eyes so it's like you have a lot of women who really feel like Oh, well, you can't do this for that person. You can't. You got men that do the same thing. And it's like, that's not cool. Like, why Why be with somebody who is like you just shut inside of a box with them? Like, just me and you in this box. You can't see outside this box at all. That is torture. Yeah. As long as I got enough respect for you not to cross the line. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I mean, but if y'all see something wrong with it, you still entitled to that. You feel yeah. me? It's your relationship. We just was speaking on it in the bathroom, like she said, and now we just brought it in front of the camera to y'all. I guess we're going to see what y'all feel like and think, too. Because really, I mean, I, I never know. I ain't no man. You feel me? So I really won't never know because I've never been in a situation where it was a problem with me giving somebody a compliment. Even when I was dating guys, like, and I'd be like, dang, she fine. He damn near saying she fine with me. So you never feel, been around um, friends who had situations like that or you never been around it at all? As far as what? To where like you seen like No no no. I've no I've been around it. I'm talking about I've never been Oh you never experienced my okay. relationships. I've never had a problem with me giving somebody a compliment and I never had a problem with my mate giving someone a compliment. Shit like that. Or even buying a bitch a drink food like i mean it's it's really not that deep it's really about me just observing and watching why you doing it if i see you just bought it because and you come back and be like man see how long she was sitting at the bar man but i had to get us on the drink it depends on the situation you know and i do know people who got upset <coughs> about they may open in the regular restaurant doors for somebody like literally snapping like you ain't gotta open that door for that that bitch got her own hands well, I think they're probably just being a gentleman. But, I mean, if you, you know, feel like opening the door is probably trying to take the next step into being with that person or probably talking to that person, then you don't need to be in a relationship <laughs> at that point. Because that's just crazy. 
That's just, that's you know. disrespectful. But like, so you think insecurity play a big part in that, or do you think I it's can't just, say insecurity? Play that's a what big I'm saying. Part or, or I was gonna be like, or do you think it's just like that's just in some female? Like you just about you how you was raised. Does that come from like being raised like that? Some or? come from insecurity. Some come from being raised like that. Some come from just nah, bitch. This is how we doing it in my relationship. It ain't got nothing to do with me worrying about you doing anything with her. I just don't. I don't want you doing it. You know, some people just don't care for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. But of course, I feel like men to be like, well, that's just you being insecure. That's gonna be the first thing a man throw up. Look what Corey do to Carmen. <laughs> That's inevitable, like, and that's in front of America, the world to see. But he so actually like, cheats, so it's like uh, he's also still a man, and that's what you know men do. Okay, so when I say him. like, give it, okay, so I ain't gonna lie, men like him. I know y'all probably gonna be like, little bit, that's a little biased, but I feel like if you're known for cheating, then you don't need to be giving their want no compliment. Don't open the door for nothing, cause I know you and I know your intentions. If you know for cheating, you just... You shouldn't even be with that person anyways, knowing you that you even got to go through seen. all that. But, you know, for those who want to stick it out in those relationships, that's miserable. That's still just miserable. I can't even say I agree with that because that's still just miserable. It's just miserable. Mm -hmm. I don't care, honestly. It's them people problems. I just say what I say. Well, listen, I'm glad we not like that. I'm glad, like, we able to give other people compliments, buy other people drinks, and, you know, just be ourselves in our relationship. It's like no, yeah. no, it's like no, no wall or nothing that's like, mm -hmm. like, we could argue with each other, go back and forth, like, we could, we can really go at it and not, like, feel away afterwards. Like, we'll be mad, of course, you know, you go through the whole ignoring mm -hmm. each other, being mad, um, you know thing, but it's still we come right back to fight. So just laugh. Why are you talking so much? But you know, the world I think the guy is the one that's the abuser or the more dominant one is the always the abuser in the relationship. That's what you do, and, and it's not. <laughs> it be the female. <laughs> Sometimes y'all know what I go to is that point. <laughs> <laughs> you got me Oh, period but still like that shit ain't that deep though but of course you're gonna have to be like well better you than me cause I could be with her because she might here talking about how she right. no, as if you the only person that exists make sure you guys put your comments down below right put make your sure thoughts you let us know what your thoughts and stuff like that cause I can go on and on and we could just you know what I'm saying let us know and we'll let you know how we don't know what? with the response you saying. Because at the end of the day, it's yours, not ours. So as always, make sure you like. How do you twist so your words slide. like that? <laughs> and leave your comments down below. <laughs> like, <laughs> but look, like, no, how do you do that? But look, I'm a retired criminal. The job, the object of the Told day is to talk myself out of jail. That's the object of the game. Listen, you just... This bitch just played with all of her words. Hey, that's amazing.